trying to check up on myself Some days I just have to check up on myself I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt Thank the Lord for my people in my hell Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's Thank the Lord for my people in my hell Then I'm fine as hell from my head down to my nails My man tripping cause I got another cell He so by me by a cell I could get it by myself Check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I've been a fine as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got it. All right, thanks, coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Leo, Leo. He's good. He's good. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. He's got the first down and more past midfield. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Stopped immediately there. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. On second down, here's Fournette. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 34 yards there and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, you go, you and go. establish the run early. So how about this for go, field position go. after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. The open man is Westbrook, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. 
A little glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with. He can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's been stressed the whole time. Keep him bottled up. Keep him in the pocket. But it's the first drive of the game and emotions are running high. Someone forgot that, trying to make a big play and gave up a bigger one instead. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Leonard Fournette, his 14th touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 21. From the gun, here's Watson. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, 79 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. The 21st pick back in the 2016 draft, Will Fuller, and we know that he can take the top off of a defense. He certainly can, and the way that he does it is just straight, pure speed. And I saw with one of the better defensive coordinators in the league, and I said, how do you defend that? And he said, at times, you absolutely don't. If the quarterback gets... And now look at him go! 30, 10, and they will score! It's a Jacksonville touchdown! Touchdown! He goes 105 yards on the kick return. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a Let's timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off of play action, it's Watson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he finds Stills complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. First down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Watch the screen, watch the screen. To throw is Watson. He's got Fuller. 
A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Watson now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Back to throw, Watson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jordan Evans, he's the one that drops him this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And an alley to run. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles Hoyt touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Four and a half. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll toss it to Fournette. And some room to work. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. First down, Jaguar. The Jags with a football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. These two teams all tied after one. Let's go now. Ten Lobo. Switch up, switch up. Jim, Jim. Any weapon. Check, 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 check. First and ten. And to the tight end here, Safarian Jenkins. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. 
So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Minshew sets to throw. And he's got it. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. From 21 yards away, as his guys are able to regain the lead. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Let's set a tone. Check Nine. Nine Throwing again is Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now Watson. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, 77 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen. And two of them bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. Throwing on first down is Minshew. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sacked by the outside backer, Telvin Smith. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Fournette running out of the gun. Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Hey, box drop, box drop. Give me that ball, defense. Give me that ball. So third and long, here's Minshew. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. 
Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Watson now to throw. He gets it to Thomas. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Going deep downfield for Ross. And this is knocked away and incomplete. But I think it was a free play. Let's check the call. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. After the penalty, it's Fournette. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now Leonard Fournette, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Fournette. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Topper, topper. Watch the ship. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Ready, ready. On second and seven, Minshew. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. He's going to field this at the four. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and ten deep in their own territory. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And we're under a minute to go here in what's been an even first half all tied up. Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Throwing again, Watson, and that's going to be incomplete. 
A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. 51 Mike. Mike 51 front. Here we go, D. Here I come. Now it's Watson. And that is incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, level. that's true. Gotta stay with it. That's true. Now here's Ross. And they will score! It's a Jacksonville touchdown! That punt returns 66 yards, and it goes the distance as his guys have now moved out in front. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well-organized, well-coached, and extremely confident in what they do. We play the win. Let's go. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Time remaining for likely one final play. You're on your side of the field, but you know, heck, maybe you throw one up 50 plus yards, see what happens. Don't forget that taking the knee is the right play to make. Because just get out of there, you regroup, you start over. But if you're going to take the shot, you do have a chance of either making the play happen or picking up a deep pass interference call. And remember, it's the NFL. You get yardage. It's not just a 15-yard play. You could have something big here. Let's see if they take the shot. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in this second half. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They go to Johnson again. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Now Watson on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Going deep downfield for Ross. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Trey Flowers picks it. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where's he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. After the interception, here's Watson. And he's got some space here. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at his four. 
and he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. Steps away to his left. Incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. He'll have a first down past the 40. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people were worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. To throw on second and six. Watson flushed out right. And that's incomplete. You know they wanted. You know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. And Stills bringing it in. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Another time now. Here we go. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know. Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Throwing on second and 14. Watson, it's complete to Fuller. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 31-yard line. Watson now five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Miles Jack with a sack. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll run it again with four now. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. First down, Jacksonville. Hey, 4-1's Mike, 4-1's Mike. Oh, watch run, watch run. Out, 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 out. 
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Let's go now. 15, Lonnie. 15, Lonnie. Yep. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Fournette, a first down carry. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 11 more on that one, and another first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Leonard Fournette with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be taken very short. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think I wasn't a quarterback. But number four is kind of oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Second and ten now from the 27. To throw is Watson. Going to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. He finds an opening past the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. 44 is Mike. 44 is Mike. Check, check. Focus, defense. Focus. 29. Check 25, check 25. And Here's Watson. Forced out to his, and a big loss here as he's taken down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Here's Watson. Then his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 40. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. He's looking that time for Stills. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Alert flare, alert flare. Any weapon. Kill, kill, kill. Hatchet, hatchet. Hey, 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 hey. Motion, motion, motion. Go. On the run, it's Fournette. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Strong right, strong right. Ready, ready. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. This is Fournette. 
And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy. And he'll take this into the end zone. A touchdown, Jacksonville. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 39. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Again, it's Fournette. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run with Fournette. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. The kick by Lambeau is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now on second and 13. Watson. Thomas has got it. Complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Jags, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. I'ma shine out, working hard, yeah I'm back on my grind now, game on, took a loss but I stay strong, Super Bowl rings, I just want to play off, gotta go hard, I can never play soft, giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon, how fit it be the boss, let me find out, my team ballin', you look like you need a timeout, I'm a star, in the clutch, I'ma shine out, working hard, yeah I'm back on my grind now, game on, took a loss but I stay strong, Super Bowl rings, I just want to play off, gotta go hard, I can never play soft, back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. On the lake, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now. You said that you ballin', keep it real, though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field, though? Hey, I make it look easy as a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute, and I'm still going. How fit it be the boss? Let me find out. My team ballin', you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch.
I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs. Stay on attack when attacking like damages. They react and play it back on the camera. Hot boys just consider me flammable. Sure shot, I got all the intangibles. Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal. Heat the competition up like a Hannibal. Know the game like I wrote up the manual. I do weekly what you do on the annual. MVP, that decision unanimous. Big dogs, I don't think they can handle it. Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors. Guaranteed we emerge victorious. Tears, blood, sweat, tears, it's glorious. I remember when they all were ignoring us. Dash, got it on, smash, foot on the gas. I will not crash, they will not stop me. Tempo, copy. On. Watch me celebrate. I'm cocky. I do my dance. Jump in the stands. No man, no man. I'll deal with the hands. Started to guard me. I ruin they plans. I do what I want. They do what they can. Got it on. Smash. Put on the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all. Dash. 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 They slept on the team that they owe me. I need a ring and a trophy. I say I'm the best because I am. Noted and keeping it low key. Uh -huh. I can carve up the D like a turkey. Uh -huh. I run straight through the D like a train. Uh -huh. This year we ain't taking no losses. Uh -huh. It's all about making the game. Uh -huh. I hear a lot of trash talk. Uh -huh. He call himself making a name. Uh -huh. I put on the jets. The coach will regret even letting him stay in the game. Uh -huh. See my route took a tumble. tumble. Next time be humble. be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. Uh -huh. You just trying not to fumble. Uh -huh. Rumble, young man, rumble. rumble. Never slip nor stumble. Uh -huh. I take off food, magic. magic. Now I can juke through the traffic. Footwork fantastic. Uh -huh. Dominating every basket. Uh -huh. Treat the pocket like plastic. Uh -huh. That with an ass back, that's cash when the money fall, I'ma slap that. Clap when the money go, you don't slap that fast. If the money low, I'ma grab proud man. When it come back, I'ma give back my bad. When the check hit, the direct hit, I'm glad when the check missed the direct hit. I'm sad like who's that knocking at my window? My wind. They say that it's the money, I'm like ten and out. That's gonna make you fuck like a limbo. She says she not a she and a 
Oh, I had to get back up. I had to get back up. 